Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Brian. I'm a student at Catawba Valley Community College, and I'm here to talk to you today about verbal communication. Um, so this is our, our best friend, our worst enemy. Um, it's something that we do every day. I'm sitting here talking to you right now. That is a form of verbal communication. Um, seems simple, right? It's something we do every day. We do it so carelessly. Um, so what are, what are some issues? You may think that well, I don't have any verbal communication issues. Everything is fine. I don't ever have any issues talking to people. Well, that's fine. I'm a, I'm a big talker myself. I really enjoy communicating with people, um, but I still struggle with that. I struggle every day with um, talking to people, sending emails, texts. Um, perception is everything for communication as far as I believe. Um, I also believe that verbal communication is the biggest communication skill you can have. Um, you've got interviews. Um, those are the main thing to get you your job. Um, you have a bad interview based on verbal communication. Um, you just, you don't know how to explain something. You have an issue trying to explain what you did in your last job. That, that is verbal communication skills. Um, text, video, email, these are all different forms of verbal communication that we, we use just about every single day. I'll guarantee you, if you haven't talked to somebody today, you've sent a text, an email, you've talked to somebody on the phone. Um, these are all verbal communications, naturally. Um, all these require verbal communication skills. Um, you don't talk to someone like saying, I'm friends with you right here in the first row. I'm not going to talk to you the same way because I don't know you as I would my brother. Um, I have a little bit more of a careless talk with my brother just because naturally we're more comfortable together. He understands my tone, I understand his. There's all sorts of different things that can mess up verbal communication. Um, you send an email to your boss, just got the job, he found out you applied for it, you congratulate him, he takes it as sarcasm. That can be based on your wording, That it could have nothing to do with you. But if it was your wording, that is verbal communication issues. Um, by a show of hands, I'm sure you've talked to somebody today, you talked to your mom, dad, sibling, coworker, your friend, um, by a show of hands, I'll give you a few seconds. How many of you have had an issue with verbal communication, um, just misunderstanding any kind of issue? I'll give you a second. And you can look around um, like you would expect, most everybody, um, me including. I, I have a lot of issues with how I take things. Um, I'm sure a lot of you do too, and you don't realize it. Um, so whether it's unfortunate. It really is. Um, how can we fix these things? Um, think about how your how your words are perceived. Um, there, there's a lot of emotion with communication. Whether you're happy, you're sad, you're frustrated, you're fatigued. Um, these are these all stimulate your communication abilities. Um, so just you got to think about those kind of things. You've got to take into consideration how this person's going to take your words and how they're going to interpret it. Um, interpretation can be another big key. So you really just got to think about what you're saying. Um, there's an article. It's about the 7% rule. Um, it's done by Ubiquity. Um, it's by Professor Albert. Um, I don't want to mispronounce his last name, but he, he states that the 7% rule is 7% of your communication is verbal, and that's it. 93% of your communication is nonverbal. So body cues, voice tone, um, excitement, stuff like that. Um, I tend to disagree. There's a blog out there by helping people connect. It, it disproves the 7% rule um, because people like me believe that there is a lot more behind verbal communication than just 7% of our communication. Um, but both of these show the, the pros and cons of verbal communication versus nonverbal. Um, but nonverbal is a good, is a really good topic to talk about. Um, I won't take your time up on that. My, my time was for verbal communication. Um, but if you do want to have a positive experience with somebody, nonverbal communication will be something extra on top of what I'm giving you that really draws somebody in. So your body language, um, your tone, your expressions, your emotions, these will connect for pers for verbal and nonverbal communication. So to really have a positive communication experience, you really want to have nonverbal as well. Um, but some positive verbal communication tips, um, like I said, think about what you're saying to people. 
Um, and yes, I know that's like something you're taught in elementary school. That's okay. Um, but you've got to think about how somebody's going to take something. If you both apply for a job, like the example I gave earlier, that per you congratulate them because they got it. They're going to take that as sarcasm. You're probably going to be a little down on yourself because you didn't get the job. So there's, there's several articles out there that you can read about. Um, there's several tips that I've given you today, hopefully, that you can take home. Um, but I do want to thank you for giving me the time of day. Um, and I hope you take even one small thing home and use it forever because um, communication will be around for probably the rest of your life. Um, but thank you. Y'all have a good one.